Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen in the garden. It's summertime and I am going to show you how to make a really tasty little supper. Very quick to make, only a few ingredients and it really packs a punch. So I've got some chicken thighs and I'm going to chop up three ingredients, some lemongrass, some chilli and some garlic. And just give it a good fine chop. You can take out the seeds if you want to, but I'm going to leave them in. I like that extra bit of heat in there. This combination of three flavours, the chilli, the garlic and the lemongrass, creates something really unique as the basis for this dish, which is going to be really tasty. So lemongrass goes in as well, take off the ends and take off the woody tops. And we're going to get rid of those and just take off that extra, extra leaf. You can save those for your bath if you want to. And then all I'm going to do is just chop these up nice and fine. The minute you start slicing through that lemongrass, the smell is absolutely fantastic. I think your neighbours are going to start coming out of their house to try and get some of this. It smells so good. Okay, lemongrass, chilli, garlic, classic combination. The combination that's going to make this dish so, so tasty. Give them a good, good chop through. And now the sun's come out. I feel like it's proper summertime now. When you're making this dish, make sure that you get a nice fine chop on your chilli, garlic and lemongrass because that lemongrass can be a little bit woody but also you want to make sure that all your ingredients go completely over your chicken and completely coats it. So get that straight in on top of the chicken and in the chicken here, this mixture that I've got, it's chicken thighs and I love using chicken thighs in this dish because it's the brown meat, it's much more tender, much more flavoursome and it really is inexpensive as well to buy. So I've got my chilli, lemongrass and garlic mixture in here, I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of lemon, or of fish sauce actually, which is going to give us a nice salty element in here and I just want to mix that through. Nice hot wok, sunflower oil, get your chicken in. Give it a good mix through, get coated in that oil, and then let it sit. Don't stir it too much, because otherwise the temperature in the pan will just start to reduce down. So let it sit for a minute, and then stir fry it. The chicken's been frying off, and it's just got a nice little bit of colour, and I'm going to hit it with some curry powder. And the curry powder is going to add wonderful dry heat and aromaticness in here. So get it completely coated in there. I'm also going to add a little bit of sweetness from some sugar. And it's really important just to balance out your flavours with that little bit of sweetness, especially in Asian dishes. And you want to fry this off just until that curry powder starts becoming alive, starts becoming aromatic, and you can smell it. Now I need to braise my chicken, and I've got some chicken stock to do that. So nice bit of chicken stock goes in on top of this. And just enough to cover the chicken, and this is going to help get a wonderful sauce in there. So mix it through, and just allow that to simmer away, and the sugar in there is going to help caramelise it down and thicken the sauce. Check this out. Sorry, that was Max. <laughs> I was about to tell you to check this out. <laughs> but Max is having a very bad time because no one's throwing the ball from. Look, our sauce has reduced down. We're going to hit it with some fresh herbs. I've got some coriander, I've got some mint, I've got some basil. Tear them up like this and just rip them into little pieces and just stir them through. Just right at the end of the cooking time, it adds wonderful freshness. Right, we've got a big pot of rice ready to go. Serve this up. And then over the top of this, we have our lovely chilli and lemongrass chicken. So there you go, lovely sauce over the top. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to hit it with some more of those fresh herbs. Great little dish, my chilli and lemongrass chicken. And I'm going to try some, tell you what I think. Try some of this. It's really important you get that sauce in there. It's really sweet and spicy. You know what? you have to make it with the chicken thighs because they become really tender when they're braised down in that liquid and they absorb all those great flavours. If you want to try this recipe, the link is in the comment box below. So click it, go over to my website, check it out, leave a comment in the box below and of course, click that subscribe button. All important, I want you to click the subscribe button because you'll be the first to hear when there's new recipes. Now, all that's left to do is tuck in. See you later.